Today we're going to talk about another key marketing strategy that should be part of your uh, marketing mix. We're outbound marketing. We previously spoke about inbound marketing and if you haven't checked out a video, be sure to check it out after this one. So what is outbound marketing? Well, outbound marketing is what people traditionally think of when they hear of advertising. It's your radio ads, your TV ads, your print ads. Essentially a strategy of pushing out your message to as wide an audience as possible in an effort to persuade and communicate with them the benefits of your product or service. I'm going to give you now three quick tips on how to effectively run an outbound campaign. The first quick tip I'm going to give you is about really uh, communicating your competitive benefits. A lot of ads try to be clever, but they fail in communicating the essential points required in advertising and as such derive no value. So. Be sure to communicate three things in your ads. The first is what exactly it is you're offering. The second is why should your audience want it? And the third point is how should your audience act on it and how should they get and take advantage of the offer? If you're selling something based on price, then include the prices in the advertising. If you're selling a service, then be sure to communicate the benefits that the user will get out of it. The second key tip for outbound marketing campaigns is to really grab and hold your audience's attention. Now, we're constantly bombarded by advertising messages and our attention spans are shrinking every day. Uh, whether it's a billboard or an email in my inbox, you as an advertiser have less than three seconds to grab my attention. And once you have my attention, you better know what to do with it. It's also a good idea before you run any ad, whether it's online, radio or print, is to examine what's going on in the landscape. Look at your competitors, look at what they're advertising and see uh, what ads are offering similar products and services to yours and how you can differentiate your messaging and your positioning in your advertising to really stick out and keep my attention. The third key tip is to really test and optimize your ads. Now, if you have the budget and money, running a focus group on your ads and getting other people's opinions is a great way to really understand whether your messages are getting across, whether the calls to action are working effectively, and whether your ad has the desired outcome. A cheaper and more, uh, I think, uh, easier way to do it is the so what test. Put yourself in your audience's shoes. Go through your ad and think to yourself, so what, why should I care? If you don't pass that test, if you don't have an answer to the so what question, your ad has failed and you should probably go back and maybe tweak a few things and really make an impact. In summary, you want to highlight your competitive advantages and communicate these essential messages. You want to grab and hold of your audience's attention and never let go. And lastly, you really want to test and optimize your advertising to make sure that it's the best that it can be. Thank you. And be sure to check out all our videos for more marketing and small business tips for entrepreneurs.